What's up, guys? DK, we are back to Final Fantasy 12 Zoda A. Let's continue right where we left off last time, right here on the Hunters Camp. Now, some of you are probably expecting me to go ahead and start unlocking the um, the Red Hunt game so I can start stealing a lot of red stuff. Uh, however, I'm not actually going to do that right now for one reason and one reason only. You see, guys, now that I have access to Site 11 after doing that last hunt, this means I can get slight upgrades for my weapons and equipment. Unfortunately, as most of you well know by now, Site 11 has a very, very, very dangerous rare monster known as Disma. And if I run into that thing as I, as I am now, I am going to die a horrible death. I am just not ready for Disma. Disma is one of the hardest enemies in this game. And there's just no way I'm going to fight him right now. So that, that one monster... Is the only reason why I haven't um, activated the, the, the Red Hunt game yet because I do not want to run into him right now. And there's quite a lot of farming I need to do here in the Lucian Mines because th this place is the easiest access to unlimited supply of reverse moats, to my knowledge. I could have, I, I probably should have farmed them back at the back of the Dracula Laboratory. I, sh I probably should have got them there. But I wanted to gain access to other parts of the game so I can, you know, get more stuff. And I knew that I can, I can farm it here when, when I get here. So, but yeah, that that one monster is the only reason why I'm not, I'm not doing it. And I forgot how to get side eleven. I think it's, I think it's down there. I forgot to get side eleven down. <laughs> yeah, I really love how the, um, how the Zodat version just automatically gives you one copy for free of. Almost every every um, ultimate weapon and equipment, not everything, but almost everything. In the original version, you pretty much had to go out of your way to get stuff like that. But in this version game, they just give you one copy. And if you want multiples, then you gotta you know farm and stuff like that. So like like you automatically get a free brace suit, free maximum free grand free grand helmet, free grand armor. Whereas in the regular version. If you wanted a grand helmet and a grand armor, holy fuck, did you have to grind to get that damn thing? Okay, I'm gonna have to go deep into my mines to get what I want. Uh, what's this? Okay, so another free golden skull cap. I only need one, and Fran already has that, so I could have been a little patient instead of just stealing it from, from those dead bones at the early stages of the game, but you guys know how I roll, right? So there's there's my free golden skull cap. If I if I want to use two, two measures, I got my second gold scout, which is the second strongest helmet in the game, which will suffice until I get my circlets. But I really don't need the circle. It's not. It's not gonna make that much of a difference, if any, in in this mode, especially. All right. So this right here, renewing motion or morin, whatever the fuck. I don't know. Is that a typo? Hold on. Well, renewing morin. Uh, this is gonna be pretty much my permanent helmet for either Ash or Pinello. Probably Ash because you know I'm, I'm gonna be leaving with her. Not. It lowers her max HP, but it gives her a permanent region, which is actually kind of nice. So I'm going to give... I can now give Pinello the crown of lowers. Give her... So now I can give Pinello the crown of lowers. Give her just a little more resistance. Well, a lot more resistance and a little more HP. Just slight upgrades here and there, but now Ash has permanent region, which is actually kind of nice. Alright, so this room... Good thing I don't have to farm the Yagu Dark Blade this time around because uh, these things, they suck. Now, unfortunately for them, I don't think they are immune to many stats effects. So let's see if I can disable them. Let's see what we got here. Okay, these, these things are some, these are some dangerous enemies. Oh man, I hate these fucking things. Crushing Fang. Here's one of the reasons why. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, fuck, yeah, see that? Fuck me, see that? That right there, that. Yeah, Crushing Fangs. Uh, I looked that up a while ago. It's supposed to have like the, what is the, 25% chance to automatically kill you? 
Good God! I'm getting fucking crushed here. In the name of hell. I mean, I know they're tough, but damn, give me a break. Can I at least do something? Okay, Penelope killed oh, Penelo killed it, and I disabled friend. Okay, yeah. They may do that. Uh, Penelo eventually. Let me take that shit off. Penelo eventually chipped it off with her skills. But good God, what happened? <laughs> well, maybe those traps had something to do with I don't know. But it all it all started with, with him instantly killing ass with um crushing fangs. That 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 just wasn't nice. Anyways, I was saying before I also rudely interrupted. Um, I looked that move up a while ago. It's supposed to have like a twenty five percent chance to automatically kill you, but. I swear it happens almost every time. Man, those guys suck. Oh, man, I'm, I'm glad I really don't have to farm them. And if I do have to farm them, I'll just fight the easier ones and the pharaohs. Because those enemies there, man, they suck. Alright, so. These things suck too, literally. Oh no, I'm disabled because of that fucking trap. Oh. Okay, so I can handle these bats. I'm gonna get swarmed by like five or ten of them at once. But the ones in the hem mines are definitely gonna be a problem. But by then, I have like stronger stuff. I'm, I'm not going there until I get the really, really, really powerful stuff. Good thing I went back and bought my expulsions. Now, there's two pieces of equipment that I'm looking for here. If these uh, dead bones and dark lords and crusaders don't mind. Ooh, they hit kind of hard, don't they? Yeah, I forgot these bastards actually attack pretty fast. I think I want Fran to use the blizzard spell for these guys. Cause these, these, these guys suck. Well, actually, they don't. It's, it's just that, I'm, I'm, again, guys, uh, this is my very first time playing weak mode. And I'm actually surprised at how difficult it's, it's become. I mean, I knew it would be difficult, but not to this extent. I mean, I'm actually terrified right now because this is just the Lucio Mines. I haven't even been to the Hem Mines yet or, or the upper layer of the Great Crystal. For the upper layer of the pharaohs. That, that's when things are really going to get ugly. So hopefully by then I have the necessary stats to survive that hell. Okay, so I think this is one of the chests I'm looking for. Ooh, I'm run out of post at this rate. Okay, Glimmering Robes was the upgrade for Fran. Kind of black rose. I'm only gonna use this if I decide to have her cast um dark spell somehow. But now she got to upgrade gleaming roads. A little more defense, but a lot more magic points. So that's gonna that's gonna come in handy. I lose some magic resistance, which is kind of unfortunate. But oh well. So Fran got her upgrade now. Might not make that much of a difference, but you never know. She might survive like two HP or something. Uh, by the way, guys, this area is also where I'm going to be farming my unlimited reverse moats when I get ready to do that. I forgot exactly where it is, but I do remember that in this area I can get uh, I can get unlimited reverse moats. Of course, I got to fight through a horde of these undead enemies. I'm probably going to switch Ash to a knight just so she can use the Excalibur. And although it's not going to be nearly as strong in this version as it was 
in a, in a regular playthrough, she still might be able to do enough to one shot these uh, annoying holy bats, or well, holy weak bats of undead enemies, if they don't parry in a way. Man, I can't wait till I get Penelope's strongest gun. Yeah, I, I got a feeling that once I get that gun, the difficulty is going to definitely take a nose dives because she's going to be like one-shotting everything before they get a chance to act. Anyway, this thing right here. There we go. Another gun. So, now As has upgraded her gun. If she can put it on, if she can't, I'll fix that. You know, I gotta say that it's actually quite, quite weird and quite refreshing to see these guys actually get chances to attack you because I usually, I, I am so used to coming down here with two Excalibur users. I would have like, I would have like uh, Ash and Vaughn and, and Excalibur Berserk and I just, just one shot everything down here. Now they actually get a chance to, to use their attacks. You know, it just, just feels so weird. It feels like a fair fight. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm not quite ready to leave here just yet. There's one more thing. I, fuck. One more thing I want to pick up before I leave. I need to go ahead and get it while I'm down here. I've already got one copy of the worm fire shot, but I can get another one down here. And I can get an unlimited supply of them, I believe, unless it doesn't respond. But I only need one more because I'm not, I'm not going to have more than two gun users. I really need to upgrade Penelope's gun so she can one-shot things. I'm going to... I'm really tempting to try to take on those dragons, but I just know I'm going to get my ass completely handed to me if I try that. Fred's only doing like 5,000 with, with her blizzard spells. That's just not going to be enough. I can blind them, but just one hit from them and, we, and we're dead. Finally, fuck. There it is. One fire shot. So, now, I got two of these in case I really need to focus on fire attacks. Nice. Okay, so I got everything I came for. Now let's get out of this this hellhole. We'll deal with Giga Mission this month later, much later. Up oh, this way. Actually, uh, I probably need to go ahead and get the uh, since I'm already here. Yeah, I'm already here. Let, let me get it uh, just in case I decide to switch to a a night later on the game, which I'm probably gonna be doing. Uh, what the fuck? This man's a hero. He can't be. He's a he's a trust monster. Somebody was railing on me. As I'll say, since I'm already here, I don't have to worry about coming back getting it later. Since I'm already here, let me go ahead and get the um. Let me go ahead and get the maze power helmet. I remember what this one is because I was shot when I first saw it. It's somewhere in this room, I believe. And I'm getting railed on. Oh boy, when I get to the second part of the hidden mines, I, 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 I'm going to get just crushed. I can see that already. And it all boils down to us just not having a lot of HP. Now, once I get that strong gun, I'll be killing them before they get a chance to do anything, so maybe that'll help. Anyway, now if you don't mind, I would like to get this, please. Thank you. Maze Power She Shack, whatever, which is the second strongest heavy uh, heavy armor helmet in the game. Want to go ahead and get that while I'm already here, so I ain't gotta worry about it ever again. In case I need to put it on, I have it. Now let's get out of this hellhole. Damn zombies and skeletons. Okay, so it looks like we are in the rains. Finally. So while it's raining, blah, 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 we please go kill this giant turtle and suck him into this uh, magic urn. What is it, a mafuba?
Okay, now the gill snapper. This is this has always been one of my most hated hunts. Uh, I've already done the the side quest that that lets you form a bridge with the um, the tree branches. But as I said many times, no matter how many times I do this, I always seem to be short one tree branch. And now I'm running around the whole damn place trying to figure out which one I miss. It's, it's so annoying. Then you gotta get the fucker to come out. And I swear, every time I do this, he just takes forever and ever and ever and ever to show up. Now, fortunately, all I gotta do is keep doing this uh, zone thing right here. And eventually, as you do this, uh, the game will stop because he'll, he'll be like, hey, he's here, he's here, and stuff like that. He can, he, yeah, there you go. So it normally takes me a lot longer than that. So I got a little lucky this time. Let's call the small friends. Let's see. Uh, he's not telling me what he's weak to. Why? Don't tell you don't have any weaknesses. But friend, I don't need bubble. Okay, these uh, side characters, uh, why are they even here? They do like no damage and they die in a couple of hits. Only thing they're good for is maybe putting you in protect. In fact, I don't think, uh, how did you get immobilized? How'd that happen? Why are you immobilized? How the hell did you get immobilized? Did he immobilize us somehow? Maybe he does got a chick up his sleeve. I don't know. All right, there he goes. Mafuba! Gear snapper vanquished. And that's how it's done. I don't know if you did anything. You know what I said? This has always been one of my most hated hunts because, because uh, first. You have to get the reins, which you can probably do during the main course of the game when it's all making fix. So after you get the reins, then you gotta form the bridge. After you form the bridge, then you gotta get the fucking gear snapper to come out. After that, you gotta finish the hunt in the dry. So now I gotta wait for it to get dry again. So I, I hate this hunt so much. I hate it. And is that the rain dancer? It is. Sorry, but but you must die. Thank you for dying. And all I got for my troubles was a disgusting little fish scale. Yeah. But it was I saying, I hate this hunt so much. It is, it is a really aggravating hunt. I hate it. So you do the hunt in the rains with the with the annoying little side quest, but you can't complete it until the dry. That's so fucking frustrating. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it right here. This was basically just a slight upgrading episode with, with the, with the uh, Gear Snapper hunt since it was in the rains. So go ahead and take care of that. Next episode, we'll do some more hunts, I guess. So we'll see you then. Take it easy. DK out. Thank you for watching. I love this music so much.